Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode 8, I think. It's the episode 8 of Diddy Kong Racing. Uh, I said I'd be more careful about that, and I'm not. Uh, I don't think I've shown it off yet, but this is what the boss doors look like after you beat the boss. I don't want to say kick the boss's ass, because as you saw last time, that's definitely not what happened. I definitely got my tail kicks, if <laughs> a little elbow to the side right there. Oh, uh, man, that last episode we will never speak of again. Oh, I thought I already had the key. That's what happens whenever you run into a door that you don't, you can't get access to. But the key is in Crescent Island. That is where the next key is. It, on the DS version, it's in the same place, but uh, they've just moved it a little bit. I mean, it's on the same track, but they just moved it a little bit. They kind of moved it just a little more down the track. It's kind of down this little hill It's kind of that they added into the course. But unless you have a map of the DS uh, track, I don't think that's going to be very helpful. Anyway, um, the reason I chose the hovercraft for this one is because even though it can be accessed by car, it's a lot easier to get this by hovercraft. It's right over here. And you got to wait for the water to rise, and you can just pick up the key. And that's all it is to it. Now let's go back to the lobby and watch this little premature key. <laughs> More little funny puns. And that unlocks the magical door where we will go to our next minigame, and this time it will be awesome. And hopefully no failures, because the last video was just too damn <laughs> pathetic to even talk about. Uh, no, no, we don't talk about it anymore. No. Dark water, Dark water Beach. I love this. I love this battle. It's just another battle just like the last one, except it looks really cool, but it's on hovercrafts. And this one's kind of a little... Uh, a little weird though because since it's just one level it makes the whole little thing pretty kind of ridiculous it's more chance basically if you catch two red balloons and pick up a homing missile you're and you have somebody on screen they're going to get hit they don't stand a chance oh I got really lucky there if, it, if she had picked up a homing missile I've been screwed oh let's get Pipsy out of here yeah, if you hear that noise, you're just screwed, so don't even, don't even worry about it. If you hear that noise, see, that noise just means you're dead. Uh, another thing with the battle is they changed the uh, weapons up. The normal weapon scheme from what it was was, you know, like the most balloon, like the highest you can have is the homing, so don't even try getting the 10 rockets, and the green's automatically a metal spike. And fuck, I missed them in the wall. Ah, die, turtle. And man, now you get Diddy down a little bit. Where's a monkey? Haha, <laughs> Diddy. Take your health down. And I think Pipsy's right my ass. But I think she turns, so awesome. Damn, Pipsy, you just couldn't take a hit, could you? Oh, fuck, fuck. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Everyone stay away from me, I don't want to die. Hopefully they'll kill each other. I don't want any more failures, not after the last time. Yeah, that hit Diddy. They can go through the logs, which is pretty sweet. Hopefully that hits Diddy. Yes, it did. But we better get it call some ass, because he might be behind us. Oh, I took out Diddy. I thought I was going to hit a spike. I got really lucky. Now Pipsy just hurt that bitch. Get her out. There! Yes, I saw her on the map. Oh, man, that was hard pounding. I'm like, I can't fail a battle. Not after the last video. And here's Genie. He has a special prize for us. Yes, Genie. Give us a special prize. I need to pick me up right now. <laughs> Uh, in case you're wondering, I'm still recording on the same night as the last video. I just couldn't sleep well at night <laughs> knowing that I was not going to... I'm always going to go to bed on that much failure. I had to redeem myself just so I can go to sleep. And now we have three-fourths of the TT amulet, which we still don't know what it does. But that's TT's face, in case you couldn't figure that out. I'm sorry if I spoiled that for you. Over here is the trophy race, but we're not going to get into that yet. <laughs> I'm not even going to explain what it is. 
No, just don't even put it far from your mind. We're not going to worry about it yet. And since we just beat another thing, we're going to have Genie right here, who once again is trying to step up his game and take us out. And this time it is a plane race. And Genie, I hope you know that I'm pretty. I, I got some skills in the plane, so I don't think you. Uh, I don't think you're going to be able to take me. But Genie, do, he does ride his magic carpet around, so this might be his one. But then again, he races all the time on his magic carpet, so who knows? I think you can go over this log. Yes, you can. That's awesome. Uh, like I said, you don't have to go through the flags just in their general direction. And right there, that is the only tricky turn out of all the races, is you just got to make sure you don't run into a wall there. Which, if you watch my lap too, which I'm probably going to. <laughs> uh, yeah, right here you can just cut and then dive bomb right down and not hit that wall. Don't hit that wall. Don't do as I say, not as I do. Oh, see, never do that. Never. Never do that. That does not help at all. I don't know why I just did that. I totally was an accident. At least I didn't fail too bad there. And we're going to cheat. I don't consider that cheating. That is just taking advantage of the game, which some might consider cheating. <laughs> I'm not cheating on a girl. I'm just taking advantage of her. And still, she might not be too happy. Uh, see, I need to stop doing that. That right there is what screws me. Because I do that because I think it's fun. And then I lose because of it. No, fuck no. Oh, thank God. I thought I was going to hit a tree and fail. Man, what is me with getting so close to failing right now? Uh, let's grab this balloon, and there we go, 31 balloons, I didn't even talk about my 30th landmark balloon, that was, must have pretty awesome, and look at the pig's face, you can make out his face perfectly, except for that little red spot on his chin, and you know what, I think it's almost time to take him out, but we have to go to the last world, fuck, I just said my real name, I have to edit that out, <laughs> I don't want people knowing my real name, I really have to hope they remember to take that out. Uh, you might be saying, Dizzy, where is the next world? Well, it's right underneath the double rainbow. That's where it is. Uh, it's Dragon Forest, which is kind of a renaissance -y theme. And it's the hardest world out of all of them. And we're going to the first one. We're going we're gonna to knock this one out pretty quickly. I think so. Windmill Plains. Oh, if... <laughs> If you're still wondering why there might be a sketchy edit a couple of minutes ago, it's because I accidentally let my real name slip, and I'm not real iffy if I want my real name out there on the web yet. Ugh, but... So I'm about to edit over that, I guess, and bleep it out. Yes, I'll bleep out my real name, but I'm not going to bleep out any of the hundred curse words that I say throughout this LP. See, that's what the... Uh, Oil slick looks like whenever you're in a plane. It's kind of like a gas in the air. That's what I was talking back way about on episode one. It was about that. And man, I'm missing zip pads. Oh man, it is programmed into the game right here. I, I don't know for sure, but like, if you've ever played this, you know that something is always up with this right before here on one of the laps. At least during one of the laps, you will get hit with a missile right here. It just happens. I don't know why, but you will get hit by a missile. I think it might just be in the silver coins. Uh, in Durden's LP of this, you can see a good example. I have played through this game several times, and the same thing happens to me. I don't know what is up with that, but you always almost get hit with a homing missile right there for some random reason. Uh, man, we're flying. And those hay bales have eyes on them, kind of like the hay bales and Conker's Bad Fur Day. So if you ever played that in your, uh, in the little barn area, you will see those same hay bales, so that's pretty cool. I just can't imagine a Conker, like, being in the same world, like, in this one, as he is, like, in the next, in his next game, Conker's Bad Fur Day. Like, I can't imagine Diddy, just like Diddy Kong as he is now, coming and chilling out with Conker as he is in Conker's Bad Fur Day. I wasted all mine, because I wanted the Magnet, the most epic weapon in the entire game. My favorite, as you might know, my favorite weapon ever, Magnet. And Banana. Yeah, perfect nine bananas. I mean, you can get more, but I just like the number nine. Uh. <laughs> All right, so I, uh, uh, speaking of number nine, uh, on my hockey team, I have this, uh, this, uh, this guy. 
I'm not gonna say his name, but his hockey number is num is a uh, number nine, and he he honestly does not. Whenever he introduces himself now, he doesn't even refer to himself as his real name. He just calls himself number nine. Like that's how serious he is about his number. Like <laughs> he tries to get the he always tries to get the audience to chant number nine, and like at school he'll say like they'll ask his name. What's your name? Like number nine. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you're just so ridiculous. Like that is. <laughs> We're not out, we're out at the ice rink. You, you can just save it you by your real name, which I won't miss, mention it. Oh, uh, but I don't know. That's just always ridiculous. In case you want a little spice of life right there, that is kind of the hijinks that go on in my real life. Uh, do we have time for another raise? I'm deciding. Yeah, let's jump in there. Oh, fuck. This is the hardest race probably in the entire game. Right here, Greenwood Forest. I'm not going to lie. This race is hard to shit. And whenever we get to the silver coin challenges, if you thought there was a lot of failures with Mr. Octopus, you're going to see it like 20 times more in here. I'm actually dreading this particular silver coin challenge 10 times more than I'm dreading this actual boss that's going to be here. It, he's just all in all worse. Or, I mean, this coin challenge is just like... 20 times worse. I even like even in the DS version, which is like really easy compared to this version. I still struggled with its silver coin or not silver coin challenge, just its race in general. Instead of silver coin uh, challenges in the DS version, what they do to replace it is just a little like. DS tap tap mini game, and what it is is there, there are just all these balloons just scattered throughout the course, and you're on kind of like a rail shooter, and you gotta tap at least 30 of the balloons on like each lap, just uh, just to get a pass, and it is just really tedious, has nothing to do with racing, and I just don't think it fits well in the game. Oh man, but uh. I need to hit this next pad right here. This zip pad right there that I really needed, but I missed. Man, this this silver coin challenge right here used to haunt me. Like it, like actually haunted me. It is just so difficult and mind blowing. Look it up on hardest silver coin challenges in Diddy Kong Racing, and you'll find this one. And. I'm sure I'll be bitching about it in the next episode where I'll probably be... Well, I don't know if I'll get to the next this Silver Coin Challenge in the next episode or not. I probably will, but who knows. See, that's how I need to take that little turn right there. And there we go. First place. The failure had... One episode, no failures. That's what I'd like to see. And hopefully we can keep this team going. But I'm not sure because the next episode is going to be difficult if we get to this race again. So who knows? Genie, wish us luck whenever we meet here again. It's going to be difficult. Uh, balloon 33. Awesome. But I think that's all the time we have here for today. So I guess I'll see you guys later. And I hope you guys take care and keep on watching all my vids because I need the support. And I definitely love, I love doing this and I, I want to keep doing this. So hit me up and message me anytime. I'm always free to message. I always message back because I don't have too many people uh, I know on YouTube yet. So if you always message me, I'll 100% of the time message you back. <sighs> Peace.